Team USA will be heading to the World Cup without the team's all-time leading scorer and arguably the U.S.'s most famous soccer player, midfielder Landon Donovan, was left off the roster for the 23-man team. Here to tell us why and fill us in on a few more Team USA surprises is Matthew Futterman. Matthew, great to see you here. Nice to see you. So why did Landon not make the team? Well, Lan is a little older. Uh, yeah. He's on the wrong side of 30 at this point, and uh, his knee is not in great shape right now. Uh, and he has this other problem where he and the coach don't really get along. Oh, and the coach is Jurgen Klinsmann. Uh, and you know, for a long time, especially last year, when Landon took off four months from the game just as the U.S. was entering, you know, the vital part of its World Cup qualifying campaign. Uh, Klinsman has really found Landon Donovan to be something of an enigma. Something of an enigma. Interesting. And not, and, and not what he wants from the players who are going to Brazil for the World Cup. So tell us what he does want. Who are the players? Because there were some surprises there, too. The, the players that he Well, he Well, Klinsman's German, and he really likes German, <laughs> uh, which, you, which you might think sounds funny because they're playing on Team USA. But there are a number of German players with at least one American parent. Mm -hmm. uh, several of them are the children of American servicemen who were stationed in Germany. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, most of them have grown up in Germany. They, they seem rather German, but they've been playing for Team USA, and there are, I think, five Five Germans on this roster, including Julian Green, who's 18 years old and who has never played a meaningful game. A little for, untested there. A little untested, yes. Were there some other meaningful omissions? Omissions, yes. yes. So. Brad Evans was a, was a big surprise, I think, for a lot of people. He had played a pretty vital role through the qualifying campaign uh, as a defender, so that was a little bit surprising. Uh, other than that, I mean, a lot of the guys were sort of on the fringe who didn't make it. When you look at this roster and you yeah. look at this lineup, what appears to be the strategy? Youth and speed. Ah, there you go. Yeah, I mean, and, and this is sort of a throwback to what Klinsmann did in 2006 with Germany when he was the coach of the German team. Did it and, work? Uh, it got to the semifinals, oh. which in Germany is okay. In the U.S. would probably probably be cause for ticker tape parades. All right, so when you look at this team and you look at who they're going to be up against, what do you think? Uh, it's going to be really tough for them to get out of the group. Uh, they're in this group of death with Germany, Portugal, and Ghana, so it'll be tough for them to get through those games, but if they can, they can go on a run. All right, Matthew Fetterman, thank you for that. We'll certainly all be watching.